Belt and pulleys use an input rotary motion in the form of a pulley to drive a belt. This belt then drives one or more output pulleys in the form of rotary motion. This mechanism can have both clockwise and counterclockwise spinning pulleys all within the same belt. It just depends on its contact points with the belt itself. A system does not need multiple pulleys to change directions though. A system with just two pulleys and one belt will turn in the same direction with an open belt. When using a cross belt, the pulleys will turn in opposite directions. Additionally, belt and pulleys usually are on the same axis of rotation, meaning each axle is parallel with one another. However, alternate configurations can be made to have a pulley at 90 degrees from the output. This is due to the flexibility of the belt itself. The same torque and speed concepts from simple gears apply here too. A large input pulley and smaller output pulley mean decreased torque and increased speed, while a smaller input pulley and larger output pulley mean increased torque and decreased speed. Belt and pulleys do work in both directions, either clockwise or counterclockwise. The flow of power is also reversible as an output can become an input. Belt and pulleys are much quieter and less expensive than a sprocket and chain setup. You can find them within spinning household objects that cannot be too loud, like washing machines and treadmills.